Hello guys, so today we'll be looking at how to work with a bank statement. As a data analyst, you can actually use this project and add it to your portfolio. Without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to open up my bank statement. Okay, I have one here. So you can just create a copy of it so that if anything goes wrong with this, you can fall back to this one. So let's open up one. Now, here's our bank statement. Now, yes, now here's our bank statement. What I actually want to do here, what I'm planning to achieve here, is to measure the debit side against the credit, the, the income against the expenditure. And that's just it. That's all. I can as well just want to add all this together and sum it up. But the issue I'm having here is that. For every end of the month, there is a summary. There is always a summary for every end of the month. Look at this. Look at this. There is, there is a summary for every month end. So what I think it's just better for me to delete them, right? So let's get started. So if I delete this now, I can go ahead and delete this. I can just come in and delete these two and this. Now imagine we have over forty thousand rows. How long do you think it's going to take me to keep deleting these stuffs to to keep deleting each balances for each month? Now what I want to do now is take it to Python. Let me just delete the headings for this one. I can just delete this one, the mean heading. Then I can now apportion this one. I can also delete this one too. I can also delete this one or just apportion the headings. Or just give the headings to each of the columns. But I, and I can still delete it as, at the same time. So I'm going to delete it. So what I'm going to do now is before I move to the Jupyter notebook book environment. I just want to save this one as CSV. Then I go save as file. Data set. Now let's go to our Jupyter notebook environment. Okay. Now we are in our Jupyter notebook environment. First thing first, let's import pandas. Now we are going to read our CSV file. We can just name it, give it a name. Data is equal to PD, which is pandas, right? PD dot read underscore CSV into brackets. Now we have to paste the part that we saved our file. Now here's it here. You can just left click on it. On the Mac, on the Mac laptop, just left click, push on your Alt key, then click on copy. Just click on it. Left click, press Alt, then copy the part here. Now go back. And paste it here. You can now run it. Data. Then click on. Now here we have it. Now we have how many rules? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven rules. You are supposed to have six. So this is actually not needed. So let's just pass a header. To our data set, you can give it a name, view, head, equal to 
equal to the first one is actually a date date comma date posted comma description comma credit debit balance and the last one is actually empty so let me just write empty So I'm going to pass this as the header for the data set now. I can now go data dot colons is equal to head. So let me print out data now. Now, as you can see, we now have date, date posted, description, credit, debit balance and empty so let me just drop the empty the empty column so we have six back but if you have something like this if you're having if excel is adding or python is adding a empty a, a new colon that that doesn't exist that you are not aware that is existing you can as well just go back to your data set and check what's going on but for the fact i've just checked but well, for the purpose of this video i've checked and there was actually nothing it was just a paint a it was just an highlight that was present in the data set and that's why python is adding and exe is actually adding an empty column so let's drop the empty column now it's going and that's going to data equal to data dot drop drop what are we dropping now dropping empty the column right in g t y on which has this that's it that is this one let's go now let's print data again now bam now that's gone right now to eliminate those balances that is being created every month what we need to do is that let's go back to the excel and check the data set again now see what we have here now we can see that for for each summary each balances we don't have anything in the balance section for each sum we don't have anything in the balance section and for a fact as i said earlier the debit side and the credit side are the ones that are most important so you can as well just delete the null cell on that balances but now if we write a syntax to delete any row that has no that has null balances that means this will be deleted if i write that this one will be deleted this one will be deleted. Let's go. This one too will be deleted. So if we write a syntax that is commanding, that yeah, is commanding each cell or each row that has no balances to be gone, definitely everything that has the summary throughout this data set will be deleted. So let's let's just do that. Go back to this. So let's create a new cell for this just click on B now we have this one can I write data dot drop drop now shift open subset let's go to see it is called to 
balance. So you are not deleting the whole, uh, you are not deleting the whole column of, of balance, you are deleting a subset of balance. Comma axis equal to zero. Comma in place equal to true. Then run it. Sorry, true should be in capital. Now let's run it again. Now, from 1,578 rows, you just went to 1,243 rows. And I can tell you for a fact that if you go back to your Excel now, those summaries are no more there. Now, and for this one, and for this um, this last part, you actually do not need, you actually have nothing to do with this one. Okay. Now, I can now go back to Excel Tableau or Power BI to, to represent your data in graphical form. So, now we are going to save this. Data dot to underscore CSV into brackets open it. So let's just copy the last part we use here. Let's copy this. Copy and let's come here. See data set. Let's change the last part with the name cleaned, and that's it. We are done. Can go, then go to this part and open our file. Cleaned here. We have it open. Now as, now, as you can see, so let us show maybe you can see something funny, you know, just to confirm. As you can see, so as you can see, that's one of the easiest way to clean a bank statement. And as for this one, you try to need this one again, but you can just copy it somewhere. So in case you want to verify if your just just want to verify if they actually matched. Now you can just create a table. Okay, let me delete this first. So we are going to extract 
our month from our, the date that the date here will just be equal to equal to if this year comma if it's actually blank here print blank blank else print text into bracket this cell comma with this format cc we are working for month in so m is for month if you actually want to extract a year you can just click, um, type y four times then close it mm -hmm. Okay, this one should be equal to I can just click on this So now, we can now go ahead and create a table out of this mm -hmm. So this one too should be January, right? Let's go month. And now, do now what I and now the only way to confirm if we have not missed any data with everything we, we just done is to confirm if this tallies with this. And as you can see, we still have one million six hundred and fifty one thousand three hundred twenty two four seven seven. So that's going to be all for today. Thank you for watching. See you next time.